Hey babes, it's Kayla Craft with the Mommy Millionaire Podcast. I'm a mom of three littles, ER nurse turned self-made millionaire and lifestyle entrepreneur. I am bringing you inspiring stories, business and mindset tips to help you be shameless in pursuing your ambitions. Hey, Mommy Millionaires. I am really excited about today's really quick Mommy Millionaire Minute. One of you guys reached out to me on Instagram because you heard me say on a story that I wasn't drinking and you wanted to know why. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a real quick Mommy Millionaire Minute for you guys to explain why. Uh, But first, I want to remind you guys that Mommy Millionaire Live is just a couple months away. This is going to be the most transformative event of the year. It's not all hype. You're getting business strategy and really making connections with people that will help you grow your business and your life. So make sure to head over to mommymillionaire.co and get your tickets. And I'm just so excited because we're having such amazing speakers and I love getting to see you guys in person and connect. There's a couple VIP tickets left and that's the day where you get to spend the entire day with me doing a photo shoot and a VIP night that's going to be so, so fun. So make sure to check that out because events are where your life really changes. I remember going to my first event about eight years ago and you know why it helps is because when you hear from other people that they're struggling with the same thing that you are in your business, it makes you feel like you're not alone. You're able to connect with on a deeper level than you're just connecting at mommy play dates or wherever with different friends that aren't going through the same thing as you. So it's good to be in a room and just feel understood and then to learn, okay, hey, this is what's working in business. Da 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 get all motivated and all that kind of stuff. But then what also happens at events is we push you, especially at this event. Okay. This is what's so different is I'm going to push you like crazy. Um, because, and I, the reason why I tell you this is because I want the people that are really ready for change to come. If you're not ready, don't come. Okay. But if you're really ready to grow, you're willing to do whatever it takes to go to that next level of you, whatever that looks like for you, you want to be at this event because every single speaker is going to challenge you and get you outside of your comfort zone. And what happens is when you go back to reality, to real life, and you have a challenge throughout the day in your business, you realize, you know what? I've done harder things than this because it takes you back to that experience you had at the live event where you're like, gosh, remember when Kayla made me do this and it was so scary, but I did it anyway. I can do the hard things in life. So it makes you literally change the way you react to fear. Seriously, like it's life-changing. So I cannot wait to experience that with all of you. So yeah, the other day I went and spoke at my friend Sonia's event and it was on this beautiful yacht in the Newport Harbor and everybody's drinking champagne and they're just having fun. And, you know, um, I, on the story, somebody was handing me champagne. I was like, oh no, good. I'm good. I don't drink really. And so you guys heard that and you're like, what, why is she not drinking? Here's, here's what I have to say about that. I do drink on occasion. Okay. And I say on occasion because it has to be like a very special occasion because I don't, my body just does not react well with alcohol. And, um, what I mean by that is like the next day, my mental clarity is just gone. No matter what, even if I have just like one margarita the next day, I'm like, what's happening in my life? Like, it's really hard for me to get back on track. And you know, it's, it's asking yourself that question. Is it worth it? Right. When I was in France and we were drinking rosé all day, it was worth it because it was fun. I wasn't doing it to escape anything. I was just experiencing all these different wines that they had there. And it was like, what you do in France, right? I wasn't doing it to escape life. And I think that's a real thing I want to bring up is a lot of people use alcohol. And I'm not saying this in a judgmental way at all, but I'm actually wanting to challenge a lot of you. A lot of you guys use it in social situations, right? Like, oh, I need a, I need a cocktail to loosen up so I can go network. And here's the thing with that. When you're doing, when you're using an intoxicant and some people smoke weed, some people, you know, uh, do whatever they do, take other types of stimulants. Some people take a, what's that pill? Um, Adderall, right. To hype them up. 
Uh, and that's a more socially acceptable thing to do, but you know, to each their own. And I'm not going to judge you. I'm just saying for me, it, I don't choose to do that. And, um, I, here's a couple of reasons why I feel like when you use an intoxicant to escape your reality, that's when you have a problem. So if you're like, gosh, I had such a bad day, give me a margarita. And that's where I know before I used to think that that was okay, that that was good for me to do. And now what I believe is that I don't want to consume a toxin that is distracting me from my path. Okay. And this is the thing you have to understand when you're self-aware of what lights you up, what your purpose is, where you're headed in life. You want to be very careful about what you're consuming. And honestly, like a toxin could even be TV. A toxin could be coffee. A toxin could be sex. Honestly, there's people that are addicted to all of these things. Okay. And so that's how I want you to look at it. I'm not just talking to, cause some of you guys might be listening in right now and be like, Oh, well, I don't drink. So I don't need to listen to this, but well, do you have an addiction in another form, right? Anything that you consume that actually manipulates your experience of life, that's when it's a problem. Okay. And so I think there's a lot of amazing ways where you can really like experience alcohol and have fun and not do it for those reasons to manipulate your experience of life, right? Or do it because you're like, gosh, I feel so uncomfortable. So let me have a glass of of wine so I can relax. Or, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out from the day because my kids are, you know, been all over the place and they're driving me crazy. I just need to relax. Okay. That's when I feel like you're escaping your life and I'm not going to judge you. So you can choose to do whichever you want to do, but I definitely have chosen for me and myself that that's unacceptable for me because I don't want to do things that make me escape my reality. I want to face my reality. And if I don't like my reality, I want to do something to actually change it. So I'm obsessed with being in the here and now of what is going on with my life. Okay. So I I want to ask you this question. Do you have a clouded mind? You know, after you drink alcohol or after you consume coffee or after you do, you know, an activity that maybe you shouldn't be doing, does it cloud your mind? Do you feel like less alert? Do you feel not sober minded? That's when you might want to go, okay, should I take that activity out of my life? I just believe there are so many benefits that go along with not drinking compared to drinking. You know what I'm saying? And one of them is like, if you don't drink, you definitely always have, not always, but you have more mental clarity. You're more productive in the morning because it, as you get old, older too, your liver is starting to decline in how fast it can process the alcohol out of your body, uh, it takes a long time for the after effects to go away, sometimes even 72 hours to rebuild the brain cells that you killed while um, getting drunk. And for some people, depending on how small you are, two drinks can cause you to get drunk. And that's literally me. If I have two drinks, I'm like slurring my words, you guys. So for me, it's just like, it's, is it, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Probably not. Okay. Uh, you'll also have better social skills. Like if you think about it, when you're out at networking events, the people that are drinking a couple glasses of wine, they forget a lot of things that they talk with you about and they're less persuasive in their conversations. You don't take them as serious because you know they've been drinking a couple. Uh, So know this, you'll probably have better social skills. And so like usually when I go to events, I always just get club soda with lime or just regular water with lime. So I have a drink in my hand. So it's not like awkward, like, oh, I'm just sitting there with my arms folded, but, and I have something. So people don't ask me, do you want to drink? You have something in your hand. So it looks more, you look more confident conversational. Um, I also believe that when you have been sober for quite some time, you have better stress management. Uh, Most people that have depression and then they pair it with alcohol, their stress management goes way, way down and it makes the depression way, way worse over time. So 
Um, you know, if you, if you, let's say normally you would go out to have drinks with the girls after a long day work, a long day of work. Well, instead now you're going, okay, let me have better stress management. Let me go home and do yoga and meditate. And then you actually have clearer thinking and you know how you're going to solve the problem. Usually uh, when you pair alcohol with anger, it makes the problem worse. You guys not drinking will cause you to lose weight. So many people people, since I've been in the health and wellness industry for the last eight years, they have such a problem with giving up their alcohol. And even if it's two days a week, if it's just the weekend and you have a couple of glasses of wine, that literally sets you back every single time you do that, because it's like straight putting a spoon inside of a can of sugar and just eating it. That's literally what alcohol is. So it sets you back. And uh, look, I get all passionate about it because I'm like, can't you just give up alcohol for 30 days so you could lose weight? A lot of people can't. And that's when you know, hey, I have a problem. If I can't go out and socially go to a restaurant and not have drinks with my friends, then I am using that as a coping mechanism that is not it's not safe for me anymore if I can't say no to it, right? I also think that there's a little bit of clout that comes from not drinking. Um, when you can go and be the only person in a room of 30 people that all are using alcohol as a coping mechanism uh, and you're the only one not there and you're able to work the room and you're able to have great energy and not be tired and just be super on it the whole entire night. That is a, I feel like that gives like, when I look at people like that, I'm like, dang, like you're awesome. Like you're super strong willed. You're somebody that I want to work with. So I feel like you get some more respect (laughs) and just think about it like this. Nobody ever regrets not drinking, right? Like, so if you go to an event or you go somewhere out with the girls and you know, you have to work the next day, like the next day, if you didn't drink, you're never like, Oh, I I regret that. I wish I would have drank. No, like nobody ever says that. Like I've never heard that from people, but I always hear the thing, oh, I shouldn't have drank so much, right? Uh, So that, you know, those are my two cents. That's my mommy millionaire minute on why I don't. Uh, the like couple times that I have, we were just in France. Uh, I remember the last time, like I drank so much was, and I didn't even realize I was drinking. It was on my 30th birthday, which was, what was that? Two years ago. And Chase threw me a surprise party. And I didn't even realize that I was drinking so much because somebody just kept filling up my drink. And I, I, I swear it took me like two weeks to recover from that moment. And I was like, I'm never drinking again because it was so horrible. I felt like I was back in high school and it's <laughs> just not worth it. So now when I do do birthday parties or I do something fun, or I go to like a really cool event where there's a mixologist and they make all these special fun drinks, I'll usually just take a couple sips of it just to taste it. And then I go and get my club soda and I keep drinking that and just have a great, great time. Um, because listen, I'm trying to keep this figure slim. I love having mental clarity and I just don't like the fog that comes along with the tequila. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be a mom. So like, I need to be on it. I do not have time to feel hungover or get tired or wait for my liver to get that alcohol out of my system. I have time to build my business, to build my life. And I know that it's a fun challenge. I love being able to challenge myself to when I like, I like the taste of alcohol. I actually do. Like I love the taste of a spicy margarita. So it's a good challenge for myself. It's kind of like saying no to ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, Ooh, I like the taste of that. But am I going to say no because I, I'm trying to get that six pack right now, that eight pack of abs, right? And it's a good challenge for me going, okay, I'm not going to do that. So I want to challenge all of you mommy millionaires out there. I want you to take a, a, you know, a snapshot of what your productivity is right now. If you, ta- if you take any type of substance such as caffeine, um, alcohol, um, any type of stimulants, pain pills, anything like that, because a lot of people are doing that kind of stuff in the background that you don't even know that they're doing it. So I want to see what is it like when you get up in the morning? What is it like when you're sleeping at night? Are you having a well-rested sleep? How is your mental clarity? Take a snapshot of that, okay? And then I want you to challenge yourself, to go 30 days of completely being sober. So that's no alcohol or drugs. And so that means like weed, because weed's legal in most states. And so none of that for 30 days. And you'd be actually really surprised on how many people smoke weed in the entrepreneur world that are very successful. 
But I, that's just, I've never done that. I don't want to do that. (laughs) Not judging people that do, but I just want to challenge you guys to see if you guys are struggling with any of that 30 days, completely sober, no matter what you have coming up. And if it's a wedding, if you have all these things, well, who cares? Can you do it? Can you have fun in those types of situations without having help? Okay. Uh, so let me know if you're in for the challenge. I'll be there rooting you on. I'll be doing it with you. And I hope you guys all have an amazing, amazing day. And remember that you have to approve of yourself. You have to be your own best friend and doing little challenges like this are what make you feel good about yourself. You're like, dang, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I could do this all day long. You know what I'm saying? It makes you just feel proud and like, brag on yourself a little bit, girl. So let me know if you're in on Instagram, DM me. If you love this episode, share it out with your friends and remember to go pick up your tickets for mommy millionaire live and I'll see you soon. Thank you for listening to the mommy millionaire podcast for free resources and materials. Head over to mommymillionaire.co. Make sure to follow mommy millionaire on Spotify and subscribe on iTunes. And it would mean the world to me if you left a five-star review of the show. And as always, ladies, go out there and get what you want.